I grew up in a place that seemingly had more cows than people. It was definitely dairy country. It was filled with cheese and milk and cream and ice cream. Until I went to college, I didn't know that it wasn't normal for every little town to have a bunch of mom and pop soft ice cream shops. Because where I grew up, that was super common. You would have somebody who would put up a little tiny shack and serve soft ice cream and sundaes and banana splits out of this shack. One of the things that I miss most about those soft ice cream shops is the raspberry flavored soft serve. And since I've lived in other states, I cannot find it anywhere. So every time I go home, I definitely get as much soft serve as I can because it definitely is something out of this world. Unfortunately, today we are not making raspberry soft serve ice cream. However, we are making raspberry ice cream. From the 1928 edition of Fanny Fox's cookbook, Fanny Fox was a Jewish writer in the Boston area and in 1923 put out the first edition of this cookbook that was a wild success and so that prompted further publishings which is where we get this one from today. I'm sure that most raspberry ice creams today are not using fresh ingredients but we are using real ingredients today. I have two cups of raspberries that we are going to macerate in some sugar. I've got a cup of powdered sugar, which I found interesting that they're using that instead of granulated sugar. And then we're also going to have a, uh, a teaspoon of lemon juice that's gonna go in there. And we're going to stir that around. And after that, we are just going to let this sit for about an hour or so so those juices can develop. We're going to start this recipe off by scalding two cups of milk on the stove. And scalding occurs at 170 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to um, put that on, not at too high of a temperature because we don't want that to burn. We don't want to create um, too much of a skin on this. So we're going to bring this up to 170 degrees over medium heat. And then we're going to add that to the rest of the ingredients that we're going to prepare now. We're now going to combine the dry ingredients of our base for this. We've got some sugar, we have cornstarch, and we have a little bit of salt that's going to go in, uh, as well as two eggs, which I'm going to beat a little bit, and then we're going to put these in. And then once our milk is scalded, we are going to slowly that add, add that back in. Um, however, as you know, eggs and hot milk are not the best mixture, so we're going to have to temper that a little bit uh, when we're putting in our scalded milk. Gotta say, I'm pretty proud of myself for not creating scrambled eggs in this. But anyway, we are going to put this in a double boiler until it reaches a custard consistency, which is going to take probably about 15 or 20 minutes. And as is the custom, we are going to stir the snot out of this thing so that it uh, creates an even consistency while this cooks. I've got here the raspberries that were soaking with the sugar, which is called macerating. And I am just straining that now through a sieve because we're going to be using the juice for these uh, in our ice cream. However, I do not need the seeds or the pulp or anything like that. Uh, so I'm just sending this through a sieve. I have two cups of cream here that we are going to add to our custard from before, as well as some vanilla. And at this point, we're also going to add in our raspberry sauce that we just separated out. And we're going to let this chill in the fridge for a little while 
and get those flavors and textures going before we put it into the ice cream maker. Fun fact, I've never actually made ice cream before, so I really don't know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. However, I've got this fancy new uh, attachment for my stand mixer, and we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have more ice cream batter than we'll be able to fit into uh, the bowl here, but the bowl has been freezing for quite a while, and we're gonna give it a go and see how it does at churning out some ice cream. Um, this should be in the bowl, uh, turning on a stir speed for uh, about 20 to 30 minutes. So this has been going for about half an hour now, and we are going to move this to a shallow container, put it in the freezer for uh, a few hours, and once it has hardened up a little bit, we'll give it the taste test. This is definitely not a firm or a hard set ice cream as of right now. Uh, it's been in close to four hours, and I'm curious if I'd have left it in longer if it will harden more, uh, but it is actually really good. It's creamy, it's smooth, it's definitely ice cream, and I think it has the perfect sweetness level. Uh, the raspberry is a natural raspberry flavor, so it's different than what I was used to with the artificial flavoring that's found in the mixes for soft serve uh, in the North Country of New York where I'm from. However, uh, with this being natural, I suppose in a lot of ways this is better, although arguably not better for me. But very good ice cream. I would recommend this. Give it a try. <laughs>